Hey everybody, it's Captain C.A. Richardson from Flats Class YouTube once again, here with another good saltwater fishing tip. Now, today I want to cover something that most of us blow off as not a summer strategy, and that's fishing with hard baits, in particular the mirror lures. Why would I fish mirror lures, you say, in the summertime when there's so much floating grass? Well, I'm about to tell you, I'm going to fish a little deeper. So you say, deeper? Yes, deeper. You gotta fish deeper water. And here's why. In the summer months, when water temps are 90 plus in the shallows, there's not very many trout up there. And if they are, they're up there after dark or 5, 6 a.m. in the morning. And if you're not an early bird, you're not gonna get them. Or if, if you're not a, a night owl, I should say. So if you're a daytime fisherman and enjoy fishing with friends and things like that, think about those same shallow flats that are loaded with bait early in the morning and pick a deeper zone just outside of that. Think darker, deeper water. That's where the water is going to be cooler. Now, my strategy along West Central Florida, and it varies from area to area, I like to fish closer to the barrier islands where you have some passes. I have shallow grass flats with potholes, lots of bait around, and I look for the tide line. You're going to need moving water. So whether I'm on the push pole going down the edge of the flat or on a trolling motor, which this is a perfect game for, for the trolling motor. You go against the tide as the tide's coming to you. You make long casts ahead of that little grass line that's created by, by the tide where it like makes a seam and lit baits like the the 52M Classic, or even the Pro Series 52M, sink down to depth. They fall at about one foot per second. Count them down. You're trying to fish seven, eight, nine, ten feet of water. Count them down. You count to eight or nine, and then give it a kick. Reel up some slack, give it a kick. Reel up some slack, you're gonna catch some nice trout. Now let's, let's talk about rod actions and stuff that might help you play this game a little bit better. So you're saying, what rod would I need to throw one of these? Now, these are treble hook plugs. This is the Pro Series Electric Chicken, and I favor this color over all colors uh, because it's got pink and chartreuse, and in deeper, darker water, that's a big advantage. But I wanna cover water too, so I'm gonna probably pick a spinning rod, probably seven and a half feet long. Now, to, to, to to be honest with you, a spinning rod like the new Clearwater series, these are the specs on it. They do a good job of throwing a half ounce lure and that's exactly what this is. This is a half ounce lure. But it gives you that forgiveness in the tip because this is a medium action seven and a half foot rod and we will put in the, in the specs below exactly what rod it is. Um, it gives you that forgiveness that with a soft mouth trout, you can still lean on this fish, smoothly reel it to the boat and net it without any chance of losing it. Yes, the possibility of catching two foot trout looms large in the summertime if you're fishing the right water. They're looking for those temperature gradients, those little thermoclines where the water could be three, four, even five degrees cooler. And to do that, you gotta get below the sunlight level. And to do that, you're gonna have to fish deeper. That's as simple as it gets. You just gotta fish deeper. So I get asked a lot, how do you fish deeper? Mirror lures just don't seem like a good summertime play with all the grass. They do if you're fishing those channels that have some tide moving through. That's, that's the key. Where the grass isn't laid up on the top, you can throw to the outside line of that grass and fit in. just think about it this is what you want to do you've got this longer rod you make that cast and soon as you count it down you're going to flick it up and what that does is that that mirror lure jumps up that 52 and it just shimmies down just like that as soon as you 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 feel like you can get the slack out of it pop it again and let it just shimmy down like that in those deeper areas off the bars closest to the outside and even sometimes on the beach itself they'll produce some really nice trout. So hopefully that summer speckle trout strategy really helps you out. You might be fishing in a place that you're not used to, but I think you're gonna be surprised 
by the results if you follow the advice that I gave you. And listen, it's just not speckled trout that you're gonna catch. Depending upon where you live geographically, you may be catching flounder, you might be catching redfish, you might be catching some shallow water grouper doing this technique. A lot of the fish are going to seek cooler water temps this time of year, in the dog days of summer. So don't discount the opportunity to fish deeper. Hey, before I let you go, I need you guys to be subs for us. What's subs? YouTube subs, subscribers, please. We want to be the go-to info people for, for all light tackle and saltwater inshore questions. And remember, every Monday night, I do Monday night fishing. It's your chance on Instagram Live to ask me questions about these YouTube tips. And I enjoy doing it. We have hundreds of people tuning in now to this stuff. So look for some good how-to. And more and more of this stuff is going to become part of our new online fishing school. So I'm looking forward to sharing a lot of that with you guys too. All right. For now, Captain C.A. Richardson signing off.